to stop what you're doing and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments how much this video upsets you. Yes, I said it, budget catamarans suck and here is why. As a matter of fact, all catamarans suck and here is exactly why. Now buying a used sailboat is expensive any way you slice it. No matter what you do, the purchase price of your vessel is just a small fraction of the cost you're about to incur. Now, once you do purchase your new to you fancy dancy yacht, you're in for a real ride. You've got a whole bunch of costs instantly, no matter what vessel you buy. Now during the purchase of your new vessel, you're gonna need to haul that vessel out as well as re-splash the vessel. And you're also gonna need to get yourself a good survey. So when it comes to comparing, a monohull haulout versus a catamaran haulout is ridiculously expensive. A 35 foot monohull can be hauled out and resplashed for less than $1,000. When it comes to a catamaran, they cannot. And depending on the size of the catamaran, you can be upwards of two or $3,000 just for a haulout and a resplash. In addition to this, long before we've even bought the vessel, we also have to get a survey on the vessel. Same thing, a 35 foot monohull can be surveyed for under $1,000. A 40 foot catamaran cannot. You're going to be paying out the rump for a survey and a haul out on a new catamaran, and we haven't even bought the vessel yet. Now, once we purchase the vessel, we're going to need to put it somewhere until we're ready, no matter what our plans are. If our goals are to buy it and circumnavigate the globe, awesome, high fives all around. But we're going to have to put that vessel in a marina somewhere, possibly on the hard, and do work on the vessel to get it ready. Even if we're just coastal cruising, we got to get that vessel up to par as far as safety, because remember, safety first. Now the comparisons on cost for a monohull versus a catamaran as far as dry storage or in a marina is absurd. So when it comes to being charged at a marina, you're charged by square footage not just length. So with catamarans, they are generally two or three times as wide. Not always, but most often the larger catamarans, 35 and up, are at least two times as wide. So guess who's going to get dinged for twice the sip fee? You are. And when it comes to hauling out catamarans, not as many yards can haul them out as they are not set up for them. They don't have the equipment to safely haul out those catamarans. So it's going to initially and always limit where you can do yard work on on your catamaran. And let's face it, no matter what you're doing, all sailboats require maintenance. Maintenance is what's going to keep you from being in the tank later and always be working on your vessel. Just do it right the first time and don't put these things off. So with a catamaran, you're going to always be limited to where you can put your vessel in the marina as well as where you can actually haul it out and do yard work. When it comes to the purchase price, a brand new 40 foot monohull can be had for right around $250,000. That's brand new off the shelf. I never ever recommend buying a brand new vessel, but if that's the route you went, it's about $250,000. Now, for a brand new 40 foot catamaran, you're looking at close to 500,000. That's half a million dollars for those that need an analogy. Now, when it comes to maintenance on larger vessels, obviously it's gonna be more expensive. It's bigger, duh. Common sense here, but it's not that simple when it comes to catamarans. Based on their width, a lot changes when it comes to cost. If we look at anchors, because of the width of a catamaran and the way it catches the wind, you need to get yourself heavier anchors. If you're comparing a 40 foot catamaran to a 40 foot monohull, you're gonna need much, much larger anchors. Now, most people don't think that much about anchors. However, anchors are expensive. On a 40 foot monohull, you can get a couple of anchors that are really, really nice right through Mantis Marine, and you're gonna be out right around $4,000, maybe 4,500 bucks for two good quality anchors. When it comes to a 40 foot catamaran, that is not the case. You're gonna be closer to $6,000 just for two anchors. And we haven't even included the chain and road yet. So you can take that anchor cost on your new catamaran up from $6,000 all the way up to about eight or $9,000. And this is just for anchors. Again, with a monohull, you're only gonna be out about $6,000 for the whole shebang. But catamarans are much, much more expensive because of that width and the way they're gonna catch the wind. Up next, we've got our standing rigging. On a 40 foot monohull, you can get brand new standing rigging for right around $5,000 
all included, installed, tuned, and everything. However, with a catamaran, you cannot. On a 40-foot catamaran, you're going to be looking at closer to $8,000 for standing rigging. Now, a lot of people say, oh, my standing rigging lasts forever. That's not true. So a lot of insurance companies now are requiring that standing rigging be replaced every 15 to 20 years. So when you purchase your catamaran, if you got yourself a 2000 that's a nice newer catamaran. But if you got yourself a 2000 catamaran, you probably are gonna need to replace that standing rigging just for insurance reasons. You should anyway for safety, but you're gonna be forced to based on your insurance. And instead of it being $5,000, it's gonna cost you right around 9,000, 9,500 bucks to replace the standing rigging on a 40 foot catamaran. This of course depends on which rigging you choose, what tensile strength and all that good stuff. But it's right around that amount. Up next, we've got our sails. Again, on a 40-foot monohull, you can get brand new sails, two of them, a main and a jib, for right around $6,000. And that would be the top of the line sails. Now, when it comes to a 40-foot catamaran, that is absolutely not the case. You have some giant sails on those bricks. It's unbelievable how big those sails are. You can't get top of the line sails for a 40 foot catamaran for $6,000. You're gonna be out closer to around $11,000 for top of the line sails for a 40 foot catamaran. And this cost is just continuing to go. If we move right into a bottom job on a vessel. Now every year you should haul out your vessel and do a bottom job. Now this helps with the efficiency of your vessel. Again, on a 40 foot monohull, we can get this done for less than $3,000, including the haul out and having someone do the bottom. On a 40 foot catamaran, you cannot. You're gonna be closer to six or $7,000 on a 40 foot catamaran to do the bottom job. Now, yes, of course, you can get that less expensive. You can haul it out and you can do the bottom job yourself. However, I did not get into the world of sailing to be sitting in boat yards. That is the biggest waste of my time I've ever encountered in my entire life. It's not what I'm going to do. I understand if a lot of people do it. However, it's not me. So I always look at cost. What's it retail going to cost me? Of course, I'm going to budget and try to figure out ways to save money later on down the road. But when it comes to bottom jobs, I'm not sanding the bottom of a vessel. I've done it far too many times and I despise it. I do not like feeling like I'm going to die for a week because of all the nastiness I inhaled with a respirator or not. It is disgusting to do bottoms on sailboats. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to join that party. Up next, the noise. Now, all sailboats are noisy, let's face it, and just be realistic, but catamarans are on a different level. They're like a sold out concert. These things are so noisy all of the time, I swear. Even sitting in a nice calm marina, I can barely sleep on a catamaran because they are just loud as shit. It's just what it is. I'm not a big fan of loud vessels, so I don't like catamarans. Now, if you notice, I didn't say a single thing about how they sailed, how they handled, how comfortable they are, nothing. I'm strictly looking at the bank account. Just talking about it, I think my bank account is now negative and I probably owe an overdraft fee just from talking about the cost of catamarans. They are so expensive and in reality, they are just not within reach of most people. I don't like to live in a world where I'm constantly behind the ball as far as finances go. I don't like being in debt all the time and constantly feeling like I can barely afford my sailboat and just praying nothing big goes wrong because I know if it does, I'm burned and I'm not gonna be sailing for a year. I got into sailing to actually sail, and the hardest part is the financial part for everybody, especially if you plan to actually full-time sail. A lot of people still need to work while they're sailing. You can't bite into a vessel that's gonna just absolutely kill your bank account. We could look at YouTube at some of these budget catamarans that are being rebuilt. They're atrocious messes. They're never gonna cross anything. It's a coastal cruising vessel. And when it comes to size, for the same amount of money you'd spend on a catamaran, you can get a much larger monohull. So the size debate, it's irrelevant. But that's my thoughts on catamarans. I think they suck just based on the cost. Of course, a million dollar catamaran's an absolutely stunning vessel. Guess who doesn't have a million dollars? My happy ass. I don't have a million dollars. I don't have anywhere close to that. But one of the great ways to save money is to become an ASA member. That's the American Sailing Association. In the comments below, as well as the description, I do have a discount code. Sign up for the ASA membership, and once you're a member, it's valid for a year, and you open up discounts to dozens and dozens of other sailing-related products, including new sales that we just talked about. So become an ASA member, go hit that link in the description, and tell me all about it in the comments below.
Now, if you do need help getting on the water or narrowing down your boat purchase, or you just need some information and some help, consider heading on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Over there, right on the homepage, you will see producer. Become a producer on the channel. With becoming a producer, you do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to discuss everything sailing related that you would need to, as well as you do get a year's access to our members area. Now, the members area is a fantastic place for information. We have hundreds of members over there, all in various stages of starting sailing. Some have just purchased boats, some are taking ASA classes, and so on. It is a wealth of information, and it's not a public forum. It's a private members area, so there's no harassment, there's no bullying, there's no judgment over there. It's just a great place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you would like to, you can also just send me $100 directly through PayPal. The link is in the description below for that as well. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand. However, consider joining Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access again to the members area, which is a fantastic place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, all that good stuff. Make it go viral. I don't know. Do something. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so, so much for joining.